out-of-state investors, I'm talking to you. If you are priced out of your home market, we got cheap properties in the Midwest. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And this is the show where I work with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios, okay? I tried to <laughs> match that up with my words. I think uh, my timing was off, right? Start, grow, build, hell, even sell your real estate portfolios, okay? If you guys want to look at the properties I am personally selling, right? Stuff I own or stuff sellers uh, who've hired me to sell, check out our other show here on Holton Wise TV, the Investment Properties for Sales show. This show's different, though. This is the show where investors, buyers, you guys hire us, and we work with you mano a mano, man. We figure out what makes you tick. We figure out what kind of money you're working with. We help you get financing. We figure out what your wants, needs, and goals are, and then we scour the market, talking to the other 5,000 agents out here, and we look for the deals that make the most sense for you. Now, this particular deal, I think, is going to make sense for my man, Jay. Jay, you are out of Washington. You reached out to me to do three multifamily properties in the 80 to 100K range. This one's actually even a little bit cheaper, right? This is going to be the cheapest property that I have showed you. The other two, a little bit more than this one. And I've actually looked into this one for another client who ended up moving on from it. Uh, we did a series of videos for that client, and they opted to take a few of those other deals, right? So their loss is your gain. So the first thing I want to do here for you is show you that footage. 7920 Lorraine Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Listed a little bit over a week ago. 12 days on the market, okay? But I think it's overpriced. It is listed at $74,900. I do not want to see you guys pay $74,900. I think that is overpriced. It is a, a duplex, all right? The property itself has a few negatives okay now one thing to note why we have the bathroom pulled up this is a dated bathroom we do have two tenants in there already the tenants are paying five hundred dollars and five hundred fifty dollars a month so it's bringing in one thousand fifty a month or twelve thousand six hundred a year which leads me uh, to my first negative on the property, okay? Each unit is a 1-1. One, one. So our market rent will always be a little bit lower. This rent currently is actually a little lower than market rent. Market rent for each of these units will be 600 So over the long haul, you can anticipate 1200 a month coming in. Now, why I want to talk about this bathroom and negatives is this bathroom is a dated bathroom. So by the time... We actually get to market unless we could slowly work the existing tenant up to get a $600 a month tenant into this unit. We're eventually going to have to do a unit turnover if they don't increase the rent. And when we do, we're going to have to spend a few grand in this bathroom sprucing it up, right? We're going to need to reglaze this, swap this out with a, a current one, swap that out with the current one, probably swap out the toilet with the new one because we're going to be doing the floor anyway, right? Going to put a nice vinyl floor, right? You're probably going to spend a few grand, right? So know that that turnover is eventually coming. So we do have some dated stuff, but the biggest thing here is the fact that both these units are that one bed, one bath. But here's the deal. A lot of the duplexes in the Cleveland market, you know, we're, we get those nice two bed, one bath duplexes. We're selling them for around $100,000 right now. This is listed at $74,900, and I do not want you to pay $74,900. I'm going to give you a valuation even lower than that. So that's what it's all about, right? You know, it's not like, hey... Are two-bedroom units better than one-bedroom units? There, there's not necessarily a better. There's pros and cons to everything, right? You know, a pro to two-bedroom units is they bring in more rent. A pro to two-bedroom units is typically the tenants living in two-bedroom units stay longer. A con is a two-bedroom unit is going to be more expensive, right? I ain't going to have you pay 75 for this property. I ain't going to have you pay 100 for this property. So the fact that this property is cheaper, that's a pro. Uh, another, um, another con one could see with a two-bedroom unit 
uh, versus a one-bedroom unit would be your utility cost is typically going to be a little bit higher because you typically have more people living in a two-bedroom unit than a one-bedroom unit, so your water bills may be higher. For the purposes of this show, I still estimated your water bill the same as I do a two-bedroom unit because I like to give you guys nice conservative investments to give you guys a nice breakdown of what you can really expect, but that is also something you can think about, right? Just, you know, everything, right? There's no perfect property in the world. For every pro, there's a con, right? I just want to give you guys the most complete picture into what you're buying, right? So, again, just more of this unit, right? It's it's totally fine. It's totally workable. Nothing wrong with what we're seeing here. I just want you guys to know that by the time we do get you to that 1200 right, there's going to be some work done to these units, right? Here's the other unit's bathroom, right? Again, this is dated. You know, this is the tenant paying 550 Nothing wrong with this. Totally workable. They're in there paying 550 But when they move out, I don't want you to think that uh, we don't have to go in there and replace this old-looking floor, replace this old vanity, right? If you want that market rent, we got to spruce it up, right? But these tenants, I believe they've both been there for quite a while. And then the rest of it, it's in pretty good shape. We'll just do, uh, you know... Removal of the carpets, put some, uh, you know, refinish the hardwoods or put some vinyl down if there's not. Probably remove things like the ceiling fan. You don't want stuff for the tenants to hang on, right? That's how you get more costs. You know, things break. You got to harden your properties. Here's the unfinished attic space. Just, you know, it'd be nothing but storage. Okay, here's one of the kitchens. That's a pretty good kitchen. And that's the photo. So let's talk about the price now, right? I've told you what it's not worth. What do I think it's worth? 60 G's, okay? I think this thing is worth 60 G's. I want to try to get this for you for 60000 And even though I talked about things we'll need to do at the turnover, we don't need to do anything right now. What you'd want to do right now is just pick it up, collect your 1050 right? After, you know, regular monthly estimates, okay? I believe we'll be spending six fifty one a month just to operate this, right? Repairs and maintenance, that's fifty two dollars. But don't think that every month I think Holton Wise is gonna go in there and do a fifty two dollar service call for you. No, it's not the case. That fifty two dollars, that's saving for things that we're going to have to do in your turnover. I keep talking about what I'm going to do to these bathrooms, right? Each of those bathrooms is probably about a $3,000 bathroom, right? So it's about six Gs in bathroom renovations, okay? But maybe these tenants stay for five years, 10 years. I don't know, but we're going to save $52 a month because I know when they do leave... We're going to need to do that to get that market rent. In addition, vacancy and non-payment. We're getting $1,050 a month right now. But this is rental real estate, guys. We don't collect rent 100% of the time. We don't have two units in our properties 100% of the time. So we are going to account for that because I know what's happening. If you're watching this, right, don't think just because the property should rent for X amount, it's going to 100% of the months you own it. That's not how real estate works, okay? We're going to get vacancies. We're going to have turnovers. We're going to have people who don't pay their rent. So we're going to account for that, right? We're calculating 52 bucks. So this money, you know, right there between the two, that's $104 is actually going back to you. It's going into your pocket every month. But I have not calculated it as income for the purposes of figuring out your return because that would be dumb because I know when we do do a turnover, you're spending six G's on bathrooms, right? I know eventually you're going to get a notice from Holton Wise like, hey, your tenant didn't pay rent. We're going to have to evict them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> so these are things that happen, right? In addition, similar to the same line of, uh, you know, uh, you know, same line of thinking here. Another $52 I want you to save is for Cap X. Now, this is different. This is repairs, but different, right? This is not like the tenant, you know, moved out, we uh, upgraded the bathroom, or this was broke, we did all this. No, this is different. This is our big ticket items that I know are going to happen. And this has nothing to do with the tenant. These are just things that are going to happen when you own a property, like the roof, right? Probably $6,000 roof. It's going to last 30 years. We got a roof here that's probably mid to end of life. And then we're going to have to spend six G's. And then on that roof, you don't just buy that roof and then that roof is just cool forever. No, man, every 30 years we're going to have to spend that again, right? Hot water tanks, 
mid to end of life on this property. We do not have new hot water tanks, okay? Hot water tanks, we're not going to do nothing to them now. We're going to buy it. We're going to collect our money because those hot water tanks work. But know that it's coming. It's coming. You're going to get a service call. The hot water tank is going to go down and they're older, so you're just going to replace it. You're going to spend a grand. And you're going to be doing that about every 15 years, right? So things of that nature. That's what our capex. And the other stuff, you know, that's easy, right? Taxes, you understand that. Insurance, you understand you got to do insurance. By the way, we do insurance, right? I own a farmer's business, so we're able to quote you. So in the link below, I want you guys to send in your information. We'll quote you for this property. It should be about 60 bucks a month. Everybody else, send us in your information. You do not need to have a property with Holton Wise to get us to insure you. You do not even need the you do not even need to have a property in Ohio, okay? We are licensed coast to coast. We are licensed in many states, states where we are not currently licensed. We are getting licensed. We will be licensed in all 50 states eventually. So I don't know when you're actually watching this show. So uh, I might already be licensed in all 50 states to provide landlords insurance. So send us in your information and we will give you a quote. If we're not licensed in that state yet, we'll let you know uh, when we'll be able to assist, right? We we have farmers and we have a bunch of other appointments with other insurance companies that y'all never heard about, right? They're not like Progressive or Farmers or Allstate where they're on TV. They don't got the dude like, this is Allstate. You know, they don't got that dude, right? These are just business to business companies you ain't never heard of, but we work with them so much, and that's all we do is the, the landlord stuff, guys. We're able to take your premiums and beat them down. I'm sure the guy that insures your nice fancy house in the suburbs or your boat, I'm sure that guy don't know as much about Cleveland or other Midwestern rental real estate as we do. So we get you the low prices, guys. But back to the chart, another thing, water sewer, you got to pay for that. That's going to be 150 Again, that's me estimating what I normally expect to see out of a two-bedroom unit. So it might actually be lower, but I like to give you guys conservative estimates. If you're curious to know why you have to pay water sewer and why the tenants can't pay it, it's something that's unique to the Cleveland market. So if you go to holdwise.com, check out our property management fact. I've got the answer in there. It's a very long answer. It's like a whole page dedicated to it. So check that out. But it has to do with the way the water company works and the way that Ohio uh, landlord tenant law is written. Okay, so check that out. Back to the house, back to the chart. Long care, 44 bones, PM hundo, right? That's that's how we got that 651. So I anticipate you're going to clear approximately 400 every month. But again, 156 of that's still going in your pocket. But know that big charges are coming, right? So with all that said, at my price, 60 grand, guys, this is an eight cap. And if you finance it, it's a 16.8% return on your money, right? Because the bank will loan you 45. You only got to put 15 into the deal. So, folks, let me know if this deal is more in line with what you wanted to do. Uh, if so, reply to the private email with the video, and we will move forward. I will try to negotiate that price. Of course, we'll make your offer contingent on a home inspection. And if anything outside... Uh, of the norm here comes up on that home inspection report, we'll either try to beat that price lower or we'll walk away from the deal or we'll even ask the seller to do repairs. But typically, having the seller do repairs is not necessarily the best route, right? It's much better to get a price reduction and then just have Holton Wise do the repairs after the fact, right? Because you don't want a seller doing the repairs to to secure the closing of a sale, right? Because they know they ain't going to own this some bitch no more. So they're going to try to fix it the cheapest way possible, which of course, you know, is not always the best way, right? So we'll try to get the value brought down and when i say like we'll have to renegotiate guys i'm not talking like because we we do this home inspection and we realize oh the furnaces are probably kind of old yeah i know guys it's baked into the cake why do you think i'm trying to pick it up at 60 g's for you right i know the hot water tanks are not going to be brand new right you ain't getting a brand new property this is a, an old rental property that's going to show some signs of wear but what we're looking for is like major big ticket deal killers like structural issues right i tell you right now if that inspector goes in there and we have any evidence that there's a structural defect to the foundation of this home boom we're blowing this deal up right we ain't even going to move forward on the deal because it would be cost prohibitive for you to try to replace uh, a foundation wall on a property like this the property the real estate in these neighborhoods in cleveland guys is so cheap we'll just move on to another deal okay all right jay let me know your thoughts, man. I have now shot over three multifamily properties to you. Uh, I personally think all of them make sense for you, for what you've told me, for what you want to do, right? They pretty much all accomplish your goals, right? We are either at or below your budget. We are either 
at or above your neighborhood quality grade, right? You said you like DC. Some of the properties I gave you were C. Some are like low C, right? So I've met or exceeded the neighborhood goal, met or exceeded the budget goal, and of course, they're all multifamily, and of course, they're all kicking off a very healthy cash-on-cash -cash return. So I personally think all three would work for your real estate portfolio, but uh, if you only want to do one, you just want to dip your toe in the water here in the Cleveland market, I totally understand. Let me know which one you like. Uh, I believe the prices that I think you should try to uh, present, uh, the prices I've given you in this series of videos are the correct prices. They're going to be the best from a strategy standpoint when we're negotiating with the sellers, but it is your money, brother. I am here to give you my advice, my opinion, but you tell me what you're comfortable doing, man. You are still in the driver's seat. I'm your advocate, but it's still your business. So reply to the private email. Let me know what you want to do with these properties and uh, whether we make offers on one, two, or all three of them, or maybe we move on to another set of properties. It's all up to you. Everyone else, if you want to work with me in the same way Jay is doing, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. My team will give you a call. We'll talk to you about what makes you tick, and then we'll figure out how we can't best help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.